Hi, I'm Eric Berman, the Communications Director here at the Massachusetts Association of Realtors, and welcome to our second sidebar of this month. I'm joined today by Michael McDonough, our General Counsel and Government Affairs Director. Hi, Mike. Thanks for being here. Hi, Eric. Thank you. Well, in addition to electing a president last month in November, the citizens here in Massachusetts also legalized marijuana. So when does this take effect? So yeah, this is a big change. Uh, ballot question number four passed by a, a pretty strong majority back in, uh, in November. And there's a couple of um, dead dates in the, within the, uh, the, the ballot that, that uh, go into effect. Now, first part is, is coming right up in uh, this month of December. Mm -hmm. December 15th, uh, the provisions that deal with cultivation will be going into effect. And then on January 1st, 2018, uh, the remainder of the ballot, which allows for the use and the sale, um, the retail sale of marijuana, will be going into effect uh, unless they're delayed by the legislature. Okay. So how does this impact real estate? Right. So our members uh, really do need to be aware of some aspects of this. The main areas where, where you're going to see an impact in real estate, um, I think, will be in landlord-tenant relationships, also in disclosure-related issues and the financing-related issues uh, as it pertains to transactions. Okay, so give me an example of a uh, tenant-landlord um, issue. So the main issues that we've seen so far come up in the landlord-tenant context really have to do with the landlord's ability to prohibit smoking on the property and also to prohibit the cultivation of marijuana. And this ballot does allow every person in the Commonwealth to grow up to six plants in their property. And a landlord and a tenant really need to evaluate how that's going to work in, in, a, in an apartment. Does a landlord want to ban that? And how are they going to do that? And so the MAR forms committee will be looking at our forms, our lease agreements, to make sure that our forms uh, address all of these issues. But really, the, the landlord and the tenant want to you know, manage those expectations up front. OK, so that was a good example about landlord-tenant. I'm a realtor. What do I tell my clients about this law? I guess on, on the on the buying and selling side, uh, some of the major issues that you want to be aware of have to do, I think, with disclosure issues. You know, once um, you see properties that are listed, and this is going to happen more and more over time uh, after this goes into effect. But if there are properties listed that have home cultivation happening on the property, the question is, well, what needs to be disclosed to a buyer? And I always say err on the side of caution and make the disclosures. Because in some cases, we're hearing that, uh, and we're learning from other states as, as they right. now, we're now the fourth or fifth state that allows for this. You know, other states, we're re reporting issues that could occur related to mold, alterations in the plumbing or the uh, electrical systems in a home that may impact you know, the decision of the buyer, or at least they want to have that knowledge uh, before going in and making an, uh, an offer on a property. Okay, so Mike, this is hat coming. We should be aware of it, but things could change. Is that what you Absolutely. talked to us about earlier? Yeah, and I just, if I could go back just for a second, the other thing that I guess you know all members should be aware of is the impact that this could have on the lending community. Banks uh, and lenders, I think, are still struggling and still working through some of the hurdles here because, after all, even though this is now legal under state law, it's still a banned. Um, substance, an illegal substance under federal law, and because some of the banking, the lending rules are federal laws, they're really taking a close look, and I think there's more to come, and we'll learn more as we move over in time. And then, to answer your question, yes, we've heard that the legislature may be delaying one or both of the implementation dates, the December 15th deadline for cultivation, January 1st, 2018, for the, the sale and the use. Both of those dates could be pushed out further to allow the state more time to issue regulations, uh, mainly focused on public safety uh, and, and those sort of things, uh, and public health. So we may see a delay. Okay. Thanks, Mike. That's great information. Uh, you want to find out more about this, check out the, our blog, the marreport.com, and also the January-February issue of Bay State Realtor Magazine will also have an article on this. Thank you.